We just bought the two plane dynamic balancing kits from Vibromira for our need to balance high pressure centrifugal fans. Exciting! We are now ready to go. Here's the setup. It's a rigid mounting. We try to hold the fan of the whole structure on a very heavy table. It's a welding table with thick uh, iron, so, so it's stable. So this is a rigid setup. Uh, the very helpful support at Vibromera explained that it is possible also to have it suspended uh, or on cushions. So no, no, no. A rigid fastening to the table was totally wrong. Three hours wasted, no result, neither in single plane nor in two plane balancing. Now, with a soft suspension or coupling, it works fantastic and result is coming quickly. Now we're going to do a proper two plane dynamic balancing. Plane one corresponds or X one correspond to the first the inner impeller base and X2 to the shroud. That's how to do the overhung balance with this tool. First we measure the stopping point. So we move the trail weight from the first position to the second position in plane two. And here's a nice graph of the result and what to do. Note the very clear instruction to move in the rotating direction. You only need to know in which way the impeller is or the fan wheel is, is uh, rotating. Mm? And from the travel weight position then move the degrees indicated and in our case remove material. The two plane dynamic balancing works fantastic. Now Vibromira is a field kit. It's supposed to be used in the field. So let's move over to the field. Vibromira Balancet 1A in the field. A 7 kilo centrifugal fan wheel, 450 millimeter diameter, 30 millimeter wide. Sensor one connected properly on the engine or the electric motor rather. Note that the tachometer is positioned at an angle to the reflective tape. That's because other scratches on the fan wheel will give signals back which create error so this is a safe way to do it now we're going to do the first initial run to see the current status of the wheel we measure the baseline now we select the trail weight in grams we measured 4.64 and it's positioned on the radius 220 on the fan wheel. The fan wheel weight is seven kilo and it's gonna run on 3500 rev RPM and we'll aim high, we aim at the G1. Typically a fan is on G6.3 and 2.5 would be fantastic, but just to see that is possible, 
with aim for G1. So here's the first run. Whoops, that's quite noisy. We'll switch off the microphone and do the two remaining runs. So quite some unbalance, like 20 times above what is allowed. Now we go back to settings and take use polar graph. And the nice thing here is that then you'll get to know in the rotation direction where you're going to do the correction. In our case, we're going to remove mass rather than adding mass because the fan will be look much prettier that way. Mm -hmm. 2.26 gram at 341 degrees in the direction of rotation. Voila, we are now within G1 for a 7 kilo, 3500 RPM centrifugal fan. It's fantastic and it runs super smooth. And to finish off, a new balance test. Be close to loop.